what brings you to Midwest Audio Fest? Well, I wanted to uh, bring a pair of bookshelves that I have. They're uh, just a simple two-way that uh, I always wanted to be budget friendly. I wanted to use Dayton Audio parts. Um, I actually built a pair last year I was looking to match. And so these are my surrounds for my 5.1 system now. So tell us a little bit about the peanuts. Peanuts are constructed of five layers of plywood, unevenly spaced as a framework and wrapped with eighth inch MDA, MDF that was heavily curved to get it to bend around the radius. Um, the peanuts have a hi vi 8 woofer and an RS28A Dayton tweeter. The waveguide is out of billet aluminum. I turned it on a lathe. All right, we are here with Tom Zarbo, who just won for the Dayton Audio class. First place, look at that trophy. <laughs> All right, so how are you feeling right now? Good, surprised, but good, yeah. Good, uh, so what was the project? What'd you win with? Uh, it was called the Esoteries, and it used a five and a quarter inch esoteric woofer and the Dayton reference silk dome tweeter. R3 inch TV type speaker with a channel like this in between, which is an exponentially expanding horn. So we are here with Kevin Kendrick. What was your project? It's a 40 degree arc CBT array with uh, 20 tweeters and 10 woofers per cabinet. Wow, I was going to ask what makes your project exceptional, but I think you just said it. <laughs> Pretty much. you to the Midwest Audio Fest this year? Well, I came last year and I uh, had a great time, so I was really planning on coming back and bringing a new speaker design with me. These are called the Strafi speakers. How many hours do you think you put into this project? A lot. Uh, it's definitely the most complicated project I've done to date. I'd say over 300 hours. So these use uh, Fatal Pro drivers that Parts Express sells. Uh, it's the 8PR200 8 inch. There's two of those. And then there's a compression driver, the HF10AK. Uh, it's a neodymium one inch compression driver. And then it uses a Fatal Pro one inch horn. Um, it's the 102 horn and it uh, uh, loads the compression driver. 